There's evil down there. F***ing hell! Retribution, anguish and executions await the most haunted team in Nottingham. What a rise. Welcome to Most Haunted. In the centre of Nottingham is a place that's seen so much death. Full apparitions, tortured screams and also ghostly footsteps have all been witnessed by staff and visitors alike. With so much spiritual activity, we just had to come to the Galleries of Justice. Over the centuries, many thousands of people have entered the building with a sense of dread for their future. The very steps to the entrance were the site of many public executions. There has been a court on this site in Nottingham since at least 1375, and a prison since at least 1449. The Galleries of Justice is now a famous museum that houses two Victorian courtrooms and original cells from the 18th and 19th century. We were invited to spend the night to investigate a place that is supposed to be riddled with ghosts. It's a complete complex of, of crime and punishment from police station, courts and of course Shire Hall. People were brought here, imprisoned, tried here in this very room where I'm sitting now, sentenced of course to many different forms of punishment from whipping, imprisonment, branding, and of course execution. Some of them actually in front of this building. So there's got to be loads and loads of tormented souls that are still wandering the building. This is the main entrance hall where people will have waited to have been tried. Can you imagine everybody's emotions running wild? They didn't know whether they were going to be executed or incarcerated. There are three main apparitions here, a Victorian gentleman, a soldier and an old lady. I know at one point that the electrician here, when they were first putting all the um, electricity and running everything through there, they actually had a really strange experience where everything went completely icy cold so that they could see their breath in front of them. And they ran out and refused to come back. For the whole day, they wouldn't return. This courtroom was last used as a Crown Court in 1986 and it looks exactly the same as it did hundreds of years ago. Executions were handed out in this very room, groans have been heard and also people have reported seeing dark ghostly shadows moving from side to side. Those that were actually sentenced to death here, if you can just imagine the sound of the judge's voice resounding around this room as he placed a black cap on his head and said the following words. And the sentence of this court is that you be taken back to the jail from whence you came and from there to a place of lawful execution where you'll be hanged by the neck until you are dead. And may the Lord have mercy upon your soul, upon your soul, upon your soul, upon your soul. Many people have heard keys turning in locks. They've also felt an evil presence, so terrified that they've had to leave the building immediately. We don't have a choice, we have to stay. I had an experience there twice where I've had the door slam shut in my face when nobody's been down there and there was absolutely no wind whatsoever. And that was quite scary because obviously something didn't want me down there and quite a few people have experienced things there. Phil 
Simon, our paranormal investigator, had spent time getting to know the complex layout of the building and the ghost stories. I was nervous about the night ahead and needed some reassurance. Phil, this is a foreboding place. Mm -hmm. I do not like it at all. I think especially when the lights go off, I'm going to be pathetic. Well, that's right. Um, walking around in the daytime is bad enough. Um, this building, or a building on this location, has been here for about 800 years. Mm. Um, some of the things that happened here weren't particularly pleasant. And the atmosphere at night is going to be really bad. Obviously we have to be really careful, mm. don't we, because it's a very echoey place. It's quite big as well. It is a big place. Um, sound does travel really well here. Um, we have to be careful that we're not hearing crew members, say, on the other side of the building. Um, so we've got to pay attention and look out for that. Now, are you going to be doing any trigger objects, um, or anything specific that you're going to be doing tonight? Well, I'd like to pay attention to the courtroom, um, specifically the noises that have been heard there. So I'm going to place the voice recorder in that room, um, also set uh, a trigger object up, maybe in the laundry area. Right. And what about the courtyard outside? Because that's quite a frightening place. Because it's actually bodies, aren't there, underneath? That's right. Apparently, um, when they executed and hanged people here, they uh, buried some of them under the courtyard outside. At night time, I wouldn't particularly want to be there on my own. So that's a place that will take you, put you on That's a place that will take me, or you, <laughs> even. No, we're not doing that tonight. Okay. It's too scary a place for anybody to go on their okay. own. <laughs> there's so many corridors, there's so many cells, there's so many rooms, and even buildings, that people are obviously going to get disorientated, people are probably going to get lost, and I do genuinely believe that people are going to encounter things tonight. I think it's going to be really exciting for the most wanted crew because I think they will feel something, particularly in some of the areas here. One of the main ones is probably the pits and the dark cells. That's just typically one of the scariest places just to look at. It's very dark and grisly. We all had mixed emotions about the night ahead. The Galleries of Justice was a frightening place to be in the day. At night, no one wanted to be alone. We wanted to know who the supposed ghosts were, so we asked psychic Derek Akora to join us. With all of us together, we started our investigation. We began in the main courtroom where many people had experienced strange noises and dark ghostly shadows. Just at this moment, the strongest residual energy um, that seems to be um, related to this area itself is this pure hopelessness, feeling of hopelessness, the person standing here from the residual energy, someone who's been tried, someone who's looking at the judge and then ducking the head and what have you at some point in time and feeling no remorse whatsoever, none whatsoever. And yet, for the hideousness of the feelings that are coming over my shoulders to my head, to my conscious mind, is if I've just slaughtered and slaughtered and had no absolute remorse about it at all. What makes it worse, the feelings that are coming to me, it's like as if he has slaughtered his own, he slaughtered his own, his own people, not strangers. And looking down, that is maybe his, it's a family. And I feel there's youngsters involved here. And I feel he's the father figure, the dad. And his conditions are very, very, very strong here. I, I feel that's William. William something. There's also another as well, another who comes, the energy is leaving me here with him and someone else coming all around me. And I just, I don't know why, but I also get this hideous feeling with, this, with the name, um, is that, help me with this Sam, from the residual, is that surname? Thank you, Pa. I get W and J. W and J, PA, and I get conditions of also um, great grotesque negative feelings if I, I'm taking, uh, I again, I'm taking people or a person's life with this name as well, right. who stood here. There's supposed to be activity in this, this room. People yes. have experienced activity in this room. Yeah. I mean, would it's you say that this was an active place? Yes, I would, absolutely. But can I just say, I feel that the vast majority um, of this is born out of the thickness of the residual energy, meaning the amounts of people and the mix of people through a long time going back. How many people had been tried here? Mm. And, you know, can I also say, a lot of people tried here that actually did not go away from here. It was like as if they were executed. Mm. And the further I go down, the more hopeless I feel. Mm from going from here, because I feel 
that as we have justice here, somewhere in the grounds here, I also feel that people who were actually tried that were not to stay here, they were to go away, like Australia, yeah. and they didn't get there. And I'm really, really, I've said to what Sam... What do you mean they didn't get there? It's like as if they lost their lives here. Who, who would have done that, do you know? I feel it was the people that were in um, control of... I can't give you names to this mm. yet, Phil, but when we walk, yeah. as we come into that residual mm. energy, maybe this will be opened up. Would you want to go down? What do you want to do? Actually, I, I'd love to, because that's where I, I feel as if, you know, mm. I'm drawn. Well, the steps are behind you. Do you want to Can lead the way? Down there? Yeah. Yes. Was the ghost of William just haunting the courtroom, or did he venture downstairs? The corridor where people had witnessed cell doors closing on their own was the first place that we stopped. Who? Say it again. Bentley. He walks up and down here. Bentley? Bentley? Bentley. Um, D? D, something D, Bentley. There was something that was covered up that wasn't clear, that shouldn't have happened, linked with that name. Right. Mm. D. Bentley. It's either David or initial D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bentley. Do you know how far back this goes, Derek? Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. 19? 19 something. Maybe I can get that if it's given to me as we go forward. Oh. Okay. Can we go through here, Evie? You go so first. Okay. I don't like it. With this here, uh, I'm saying the floors um, are just a mess. Absolutely. I'm not seeing as they are now, but as I get that mess, it's like a person. They're lying. More than one person, up to five, six people, males here, lying in their own urine, in their own uh, feces, and it's like, ooh. This is a cell of madmen. Madmen, it would have sent people um, crazy. absolutely crazy. And they'd be sounding off crazily, shouting and screaming, um, and it was torment. This is what, not just the only one, but this is one of the cells of torment. So I wouldn't be at all surprised whether there's been uh, like records of activity here. Okay. There's certainly something horrible mm. about this cell. It's you not can very feel. Nice, is it? How no. does everybody feel? Yeah, I, I must admit, I do feel a bit nauseous. I'm, yes. I'm not so much a headache, but yeah, a little bit sick. Sick to the stomach. I don't know. No, if I feel sick about to the stomach. The sick yeah. and stuff, but I feel, I do feel nauseous. Mm. So. It, it's a natural feeling to come to to you all. You might not be picking up everything in the, in the fragrances of the dirty smells, but what you are picking up is, is something that you're meant to pick up and it will hit your senses that way. You could, by the time you've stayed in too long, maybe headaches, nausea. Uh, I'm starting to get a headache now. Yeah. I'm not, that's not because you just said it. No, no. It's, it's just feels like, mm. you know when you, you've walked into a room and it's really, really hot and stifling and yeah. you can't breathe? Mm -hmm. That's how I yeah. am feeling. And as soon as I walked in... I, felt that. Yes. Oh, there was one man kept... Oh. Okay, who are you? I'm getting a name. I'm getting a voice. Oh, great. Good, good, good. Come on, then. Again? I don't know what the link is, but it's got to be initials linked with them. The J and the W, and I get Armstrong. J-W. And I feel that he's... It sometimes here. Okay? Now, his energy, he walks here. He's active. He in in active, this room or I, active throughout the whole building? I feel on this actual um, floor line. Now, it could be, because I've got that here now, that means that he spent time, his hideous time, here. Do you know what he's responsible for doing? I don't at the moment, Phil, but I'm, just, I'm going to inquire. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was, it was very notorious. Whatever, in, in the connections with his energies, it was notorious. Should we move a little bit? <coughs> yeah, can we get out of here? Show? You're still feeling... Yeah, it's not nice. This particular part of the building seemed to be affecting some members of the crew. Would these feelings disappear or just become more intense? I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required.
I wanted Derek to go to the washroom area. This place seemed to be where a lot of activity was based. Objects move on their own and women's voices have been heard. I know there is one, if not two, ladies who are um, active um, here and yet I don't feel that they were put to, uh, say the word, put to the death um, in either hanging or anything like that, but for some reason they are around this area. I, I want to copy a woman's busyness coming through here. Long skirts, and I've got the stripes here, and I've got the thing on, the white thing on the hat, and it's sort of like she's um, very narrow-shouldered, and yet uh, buxom to here, and it's as sort of, oh, she's a right one. She's got a right temper on her, and it's like, woe betide any of the other ladies if they don't do, it's like she's a supervisor, something like this. Come on, get away, you know, and do this. Can we just walk through? Yeah. Because I feel as if her energies comes walking um, She's really through here. Busy. Yes, absolutely. Now the essence again um, in this particular room um, contains a lot of the energies of experience of movement of female, more so rather than men. And I feel at any given time. Um, there would be a gathering here. Um, I, I don't know why, but I get the females, but I also get the gathering of children as well in the space. Right. And I feel as if um, there's one, it's got to be her. She's got to be the, the one that's the, the wagon of the finger. Her name uh, would be, in our given day now, we would call her Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Um, but it's more Liza or Eliza. Mm -hmm. um, she has a, um, a very, very protective um, view that hasn't changed. What does she do when she's active here? I feel that she does a number of things. I feel as if she could do... Um... Sorry, have you seen this? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. That's the lady hmm. that depicts the lady. Mm -hmm. But I feel that she could, um, her activity would come to this bed area mm -hmm. without a doubt. What I'm picking up here is the smell, a uh, very pungent smell of soap, like a soap smell, um, like a carbolic type thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's pungent. I feel something could have been found in this area. Um, that she'd actually left or she brought into the atmosphere. I can't say exactly what it is, but something that would belong to her. And she wasn't a prisoner? No. Well, hold on just a moment. Okay. Was she a prisoner, please? Well, Sam, if Sam's word is she was incarcerated, but she wasn't a prisoner. She was incarcerated, but it wasn't in prison. So she was like given some kind of duty because she a was. A role, yeah. yes. I feel she as, and she, she would have been um, uh, uh, so dutiful that she would have been looked upon as being the head and watching over the women. Okay, that's Simpson. Mm -hmm. Simpson. Mm -hmm. Simpson. But on judging on the energy levels here, there's a lot of residual energy here. Mm. Not so much at this point spiritual activity. Right, okay. I felt it was time to turn all the lights off in the building. Would this create some paranormal activity? We hope so. The exercise yard is known to have bodies under the concrete. The jail would bury their dead in this place and put their headstones on the walls. We knew who the headstones belonged to, but would Derek? You know, right now we have someone who's not just listening to us, he's hearing us. It's an individual, it's a man, and I'm very aware of him to the left of us here, behind Ivy and by you, <laughs> Phil. If I use just the basic words, it's like taking the piss, mm. but in his time, he wouldn't have used those words, and it's like as if he used to walk up and down, he had to walk up and down here, this area, an awful lot. But there's a boy, and I just, he did develop there, in age, I'd say five, six, ah. a little boy. And you know, it's because of this thing's atmosphere, he runs whenever he sees him. So I've got to take it, these two are active here. Is he there now? His energy's there. If you go to the three steps, like third step down, okay. his energy towards the wall. 
Oh, thank you. He's pointing something. Is it this? Yeah. Which one, son? Which one? Point. Give me your energy. Let me go up there and see if I yeah. can just get his energy. Tell me which one from up there, Derek. OK. Ah, uh, yeah. Ivy? Yeah? Not that one. This one? No. The very end one. He's pointing there. He's the one. The little boy? No, he's talking about this man. Right. Is it W on there? Yes. William. Right. This is, a, yes. Whenever this boy and this William are in the, this space here, when yeah. they've developed here, this boy has come running down the steps and I'll do exactly what he does. He sees him, he grunts and shouts and screams at the boy, and the boy, through fear, boom, it's this area here. The boy goes through the wall, the spirit boy. Right. Through fear of him. Oh, this is right. it. This is the energy. This is the energy. This is the vortex where William comes through. Here. Oh, come on then. Give me more. Oh, God, yes. I'm slitting someone's throat. I'm slitting more than one. I'm slitting them. I'm, 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 he's, he's butchered his family. He's slit each throat. This, he, his entrance is here, and then he comes through the building. But he marches up and down, up and down here, in his own personal torment. This one was hung. When the boy's energy comes, especially to the top of the steps, and sees him, it's like as if this soul, you know, like this at the boy, and he doesn't even make the full run, he goes through there. Oh, what a shame. He just goes out. But this is, uh, this is negative and is nasty, this vortex. Well... It's evil. He's right. You, you are right. I'm, yeah. Right? Yeah, you're it's right. It's evil with this. That's, that's right. There's a family of six. Well, apparently the guy whose uh, headstone, as it were, this belongs to actually slaughtered his family. Um, his wife and his, and his, his kids. His wife and his kids, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Who? Oh, there's evil down there. When you say down there, what do you mean? Down below. Should we this, go? Can we? Yes, yeah. please. There was one place that seemed to have a terrifying effect on every member of our crew. Under the jail is a warren of medieval caves that no one, even the owners and employees of the jail, will enter alone. The residual energy is throwing out mental pictures to me um, of... The only way I can describe it is that we've got gatherings of people who are not necessarily anything at all to do with the upper levels of, like, jail and what have you, and um, living here. And the most crazy, absolute silly thing, and you will laugh completely at this, what I'm getting now is a mental picture of people down here. And also, you know when uh, cockerels, you've heard of fighting cockerels? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I seem to be drawn for some reason towards the end there, and I see the feeling and like the two birds fighting and what have you so I feel that maybe this is one of the the people that were housed down here at that given time some of their fun and what have you was in um at this level having cockerels fighting each other now i know that sounds absolutely it doesn't ludicrous, no. but <clears throat> this is what i'm getting all the residual energy and also people chunnering and, and talking and what have you and uh, um whatever was going on on the higher levels, really, but they were oblivious, best part of time of it. Um, no doubt they had to come up for, you know, whatever they were doing, but um, they would spend long periods of time down on these levels here. And there's also, and I was getting this just a little bit earlier on, I don't know why, what was coming and flashing into my mind um, and bringing a mental picture. I don't know if there's a castle nearby or something, but I feel as if, the further we go on, there's some kind of either connection or something. Uh, I can't quite make it out what it is, mm -hmm. but something to do with a castle. Mm -hmm. right. I also, with that mental picture on the residual energy, I'm smelling ale and what have you. And did you what hear that, that at the back of you? Who was that? It was someone cracked at the back of you there. What the hell was that? Yeah, you I heard it? That was like a glass of yeah, boulder or something. Or... Who's here? Something whacked there. 
I'm smelling ale and what have you. So, it sounded like a, a rock being thrown at Yeah, it did, room. didn't it? Yeah. That end is possibly in that section there is where they used to have the cockerels fighting. Nothing coming from the top of this. Actually, nothing can fall off the... Off the I mean, it's it, it dust. Shh. Can you what? smell? What's the matter? Yeah. I thought something just whispered in my ear. What? I honestly thought something just whispered in my ear. Someone yeah. Said, Shh. Like yeah. Uh, no, it was like... It was like Somewhere. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. OK, well, you know, it, it stands to the reason that we're going to... I, I f feel fairly certain that we're going to get um, quite a bit of activity down these lower levels to the, you know, in this mm. investigation tonight. You all right? <clears throat> you OK? What's the matter? What did she hear? Jeanette Goldtree and Lisa Douglas are the managers of the jail, and they had decided to join us in the caves. They weren't counting on witnessing something themselves. It was pitch black, we couldn't see anything, but it sounded really close. It, was, what? it freaked us out, actually. What sort of sound was it? It sounded like a footstep or a sort of a shuffle. Oh, Definitely God. Was, you know, well, i got to say, just before that noise at the back, mm -hmm. I really, I know, I know this happens in the dark and everything, that's what I put it down to, but I really thought, I saw, I felt or saw a shadow or something in the back. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, you're right, you should say that, because I thought the same as well. Uh, where I was stood, I looked round to my right hand side and I thought I, sh I saw a shadow of a young boy of some description at the side of me. But I didn't want to say anything because Derek was speaking. Mm. Touch the... Oh, f Right. Did you hear that? Yes, yes. What the hell was that? No, 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 no. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, it was your left shoulder. So it's happening again. So Did you just hear that? It. it was like a rumbling. Did yeah. you hear it, Tom? Yeah. Oh, I'm not standing there. What's directly above us here? If we walk you talk to Richard and say, has anybody that you know of been up and down that corridor? Okay, we're in the laundry, yeah. In the laundry. Hello, Richard. <laughs> Hi, can you confirm whether anybody has been walking in the corridor or the laundry area? Nothing to do. It's not going. Okay. <sighs> oh, God. Phil, this might help. Richard's still at the monitor room. All five girls are accounted for the crew. Nobody else is around. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah Did you all, hear that, Tom? Yeah. You yeah, got it. Okay. We all felt that we were definitely not on our own. Something was in the cave. As we all left to go back upstairs, Carl, the director, and Rick decided to stay. Oh, around here. What was that? Turn, turn, turn. I can't see anything. Like yeah, sit back there. Whoa, 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 fucking hell. Okay, 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 okay. Why is it when we leave? You, is there anyone there? Do you want us to stay? How are you feeling, Carl? Bear in mind that I'm... I'm, I'm quite free, but I'll get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm free, but I'm kind of... I don't, I don't feel... I don't feel frightened like I've been in other places. It's almost like something doesn't want us to go, because every time we seem to leave... Look, I got a fresh tape. Here. That was right around you? Yes, it was. It came right around here. Quite scary, knowing the fact that there's obviously something throwing stuff down there or banging or whatever, but... Is it throwing it or is it just well, I don't moving know. it? Well, I don't know. Throw, bang, move, something drop, I don't know. Well, the first, the first one, shouldn't it? Rick and Carl were in a place that was known for its terrifying atmosphere. How long would they last and would they experience anything ghostly? <laughs> Rick and Carl had decided to stay on their own in the tunnels. Earlier, we had all witnessed strange noises. Would the boys experience anything paranormal? What? Right. Go, 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 go. Did you see anything? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Was that over here? Let's just, let's just go up here. They couldn't have come from down there, could it? Shit, that... The door's closed. They wouldn't close the door on us, would they? I'm getting really tingly all up my back. Are you? Oh, I'm getting really, really cold. Come put your hand here, come put your hand here. Where? Oh my God, that is... 
It's freezing. That is freezing. Remember, right on top of us is the wash house, isn't it? Well, that's where that load. Isn't of it in the wash house? Been heard. Yeah, yeah, footsteps have been heard in the wash house, but also as well, though, hasn't stuff been moved up there? Because apparently this, the, the bins that are full of water have moved, haven't they? In there. So that could be, that's what banging up there. It's right above us. I'll tell you what, let's, let's open this door. It's got this, this thing, this, you know when you feel like someone's watching you? Well, let's... Gordon Bennett. You'd have to be a fucking nutcase to be down there on your own. What, 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 what? What are going to Gordon Bennett for? Mate, it's getting fucking freezing here again, where I am. This strange light anomaly moves slowly, looks impressive, and is very bright. But when we look closely at the tape, you can see what we think are legs. This suggests to us that this orb could be a spider. We had all decided to split into groups to cover the entire building. Richard Felix, Phil Wyman, Tom, John, and myself had decided to head for the jail area. On our way down, we were all aware of a sensor that was making an annoying noise. Unfortunately, this was normal, and we couldn't switch it off. We just had to put up with it. Oh, really? Yeah, isn't it chill? Jesus! Christ. Oh, the door's just the door. Yeah, I know, but yeah. why is the door going? No, the doors don't do that. Listen, what was that? Shh. I think it's people. No, it was, an in it was a door inside this building. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, I'm sorry. I think you'll find it's a firework. It's not that a wasn't firework. That was, I'm sure no, it was. it wasn't. It was a door. No, that wasn't a door. That Richard, was bang, it was bang, a bang. door. It was three bangs. It was a it, door. It was not a firework. That was a big bang on the door and that was right next to us. That yeah. wasn't yeah. fireworks, Richard. It was just there. I, I know what you're saying. But I, it wasn't. It wasn't fireworks. I'm telling you, it was a door. That was not nice, but I'm... Um, just stay there and I think I'm going to Should we go and have a look? Because I, I, that's what it sounded, because it was more than one bang. It wasn't I'm it was the door. Yeah, but which door? Oh, sorry. That was good. What door could possibly be banged? Those don't. It's not these big doors. They can't bang like that. In fact, let me just go and demonstrate. Sorry, you look. It's not that. It's nothing. Nothing to do with that. What, it was, what about that door? I mean, that door was that was that shut? Like, no, that was. Yes, that's 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 screwed. You can't open that one. But I still think. I think it was screwed. That was. That No, this leads back into our building. So there's no way that anybody, look, can be here. There's nobody around. Let's go and find some people. Just, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute, we've got the walkie-talkie. Now, walkie-talkie up to Suzanne Richard, and say, please. who is there now? Who is left wandering around this building that's not accounted for? Suzanne, can you hear me, over? Richard, uh, it's Scott here. We've got uh, Wendy. Uh, Craig's gone home, and the only people I know that are doing a vigil is uh, the people up with you. Out to you. We had all heard a distinct banging on the door, and Tom and myself had seen a pair of feet under the door. It wasn't until we edited this programme that we came across this noise. 
We cannot explain what the noise is. It does sound like a scream. What do you think? We had decided to go back into the caves. After what Carl and Rick experienced, I wanted to see if anything would happen to us. Right, listen to me. If anybody feels scared or anything, don't, don't run. I'm not going to run. I'll just grab right. onto somebody, but no, I won't we run. Do that, Nobody yeah. run and leave anybody, okay? No, no, sure, sure, because it's no dangerous. Running. Tell you what, it's quite amazing. You, you see, oh, this is stone, but can you see that these are all the marks, the lines, made by the chisels of the people oh. that hacked this out. Look at it. But this Everywhere. stuff is not made of... Sunstone. It's really soft, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's sunstone. How, how, how long ago was this hacked out? These are probably medieval. What, this cave? Going back to the 1300s. Oh, yeah. Up against the wall, then you know nothing can come up behind you. Yeah. It did seem peculiar that we were hearing similar noises to that of Carl and Rick. It definitely felt as if something was in the caves with us. On our way out, Phil and I heard a noise that we will never forget. Whoa! What's up, what's up? Watch. Now stand still. Stand still. And don't panic. Hang hey, well, on, you just ran. Right. Just heard like a slight shuffling noise and then I heard it. Like yeah, I heard that. Down that. Was it down there? there? I thought it was where you were running no, to. No, it was in there. Oh, I heard, I, I didn't hear the talking, but I heard it. <coughs> yeah, it was That's like something was gagging. Back in there? Yeah, yeah, I heard it from in there. It was like it was gagging. Like some... Are we going back in? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I think you're right. These yeah. tunnels are nothing. This is, this is far more... It was clear. gagging. It was like something being uh, sick. Uh, there's nothing here that we can see. Is there anybody here? Oh, is there anything in here with us now? that for whatever reason doesn't want us to be here. If so, you better let us know now. This noise sounds like a person retching, and it came from the bottom of the cave. Whatever is down there, whether it be some kind of energy or ghost, I would not advise anyone to stay there on their own. Carl and Rick had teamed up with Stuart. They had decided to go to what can only be described as the pit. This would have been a place where prisoners were left to rot. Ghostly screams and moans are heard coming from this area, along with a feeling of complete despair. I feel like they're shitting myself. Really? Yeah, this location, yeah. Why? Well, because all day long, I mentioned it to Carl earlier on, and Derek, um, I actually felt it not five minutes ago. <clears throat> All day long, I've been feeling very, very lightheaded, as though I've been swaying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And Derek said it's something to do with the vortex. I say. Every everybody so far has felt something, whether it be um, this lightheaded feeling that Stuart's been saying. But yeah, we we've all felt that at some point today. I'm feeling it quite a lot in here.
you know, I can't see a thing that's pitch black. I can't see a jacket. Tell you what. The thing that sees a little bit of light on the camera over there. Well, if something can happen in here, I'd trip up. I'd hang myself trying to get out of this place in the morning. I really would. And you get a feeling you're being watched. Yeah, do you know? No, I, yeah. yeah. Do you know, I've, I've had that feeling ever since I've been in this. Yeah, from up there. It's yeah. Just, it's almost like I want to keep my eyes sort of dead, transfixed up there. But was that you that was trying to make a noise there, or that made the noise? During the night, other groups did investigate different parts of the building, but nothing untoward happened. It was interesting that a lot of activity seemed to centre around the caves and not in the supposed haunted areas. Phil's experiments did not show anything unusual. The trigger object that was placed in the washroom did not move and no noises or voices were caught on the dictaphone. Light anomalies were plentiful, but this one caught in the dark cell is the most intriguing. I knew this was going to be a good one when I arrived. It's a place of death and destruction, torment. So there's bound to be ghosts. I knew that anyway. This person basically butchered, if you like, um, which it was, a whole family. Would you believe what family? And it appears his own family. We heard what I can only describe as a, a guttural coughing sound. Now. This, to me, absolutely shocked myself and Yvette um, to the extent that we, we almost ran out of the location. There was nobody around, nobody was in the building with us at all. Um, so that is totally unexplainable. We actually got to the area um, where some steps were and heard this very loud banging. And it frightened us to death, really did, got me. Um, but then again, when Yvette starts to shout and shriek, then it, it's infectious. And, Fear, of course, is infectious and it spread through all of us. I went and pushed the door, nobody there. Absolutely nobody. There was nobody on the premises that would have done it. And in my opinion, it was real poltergeist activity that took place there. Overall, I thought the investigation went really well. Um, and I must say, I'm very impressed with the galleries of justice. There is definitely something about this place, um, whether it's actually in this courtroom or indeed in the caves underneath the, the location. We've had a damn good night and we've got something to show for it. It's been great. When Derek normally does his walk arounds, he usually comes up with both the first name and the surname of the person uh, he's picking up on. On this occasion, he comes up with just a surname and the initials. And that's a little bit curious, especially given that in the Galleries of Justice, which is essentially a museum, there's numerous places around the location where these records are available, and this information is given, but only the initials are given. So it's very difficult to assess whether or not Derek has picked up the information from there, or whether he really is speaking to spirits. From here, then, yeah. The light anomaly that's picked up in the pit, on the face of it, seems very unusual. It's an odd shape, so it's probably not like to be explained in terms of maybe a piece of dust or a fly picking up the light. But what it could be is it could be a cobweb that's reflecting the light. Yes. Fucking hell, I'm sorry. I think you'll find it's a firework. There seems to be a lot going on with the vets group when they're hearing the bangs on the door. And at one point, they seem to see a person's feet on the other side of the door. But when they open the door, nobody seems to be there. But for me, I'm not sure if we can really rule out that somebody wasn't there playing tricks. With regards to the ghostly scream that's picked up by the mics, on the face of it, it sounds very unusual, very strange, and very difficult to explain. But can we really rule out the possibility that it wasn't just simply a car screeching? We've investigated old prisons before, but never quite like this one. I don't think myself or any other member of the crew will ever forget our night here. Until the next time, sleep tight. That is supposed to be this man's poo. Stuff is acting.
symphonic. My arse won't get down. <laughs>